And as the second wave of the novel coronavirus takes center stage, Nigerians have been warned to adhere to the rules laid down by the Center for Disease Control, this to prevent the spread of the virus. Ademola Lawrence reports. Once beaten, twice shy is how the saying goes, but it appears that the world is on the verge of being beaten a second time. A second and potential deadlier wave of COVID-19 is now already sending several countries into the same restrictive measures that disrupted the social order only a few months ago. In Nigeria, a higher number of daily infections have been recorded daily than was the case in the second wave. To avert the spread of the virus, medical professionals are seeking citizens to adhere to rules and regulations laid down by NCDC. Lives are being lost. People don't believe it. Yesterday, I just spoke with a private hospital that runs uh, the services for COVID people. And I was told by the director that there was no bed, that the rate at which they're admitting people in this present second wave is far higher than what we saw at the beginning. It's real. We are witnessing, even from Europe now, a surge. And uh, what we heard from the UK now is this uh, uh, COVID-19 variant. Well, for here in Nigeria, I think that we have to go back to this issue of contact tracing and adhere strictly to the rules guiding COVID-19. On tackling security and corruption, every Nigerian must show great responsibility in overcoming the EU's. The best solution to our security problem is community policing. And I think that uh, it is imperative that we have to embrace that. There's no crime that is committed in any way in Nigeria that is not committed in any local government, in any particular world. So it is grassroots uh, related. So if you want to solve security problem in Nigeria, you have to do what we call community policing. Corruption is in the DNA of every Nigerian. And we need to get that out of us. And if you're able to do that, it has to start from the family units. We don't say the president is corrupt. We don't say the political party is corrupt. But an individual Nigerian is corrupt. For Nigeria to curb the spread effectively and make the lessons learned in the first wave counts for good, the guidelines must be followed. Ademola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos.